Hi, this is Jackie from ESLspeaking.org. So today I'm going to talk about the five things recruiters don't tell you when they're recruiting for ESL teaching jobs. So the first thing that recruiters don't tell you is that it's an actual job. <laughs> recruiters do a great job of playing up uh, the idea that you'll kind of travel around the world and experience a different culture and be immersed in that culture. And while some of those things are true, you will be immersed in another culture. You do generally have to go to work for 30, 30 or 40 hours a week, so don't be deceived about that. It is an actual job that you do have to go to almost every day. And most jobs will only have, say, two or three weeks vacation, so it's not a ton of vacation time to travel outside the country. However, you can travel around the country um, on weekends or whatever. All right, the second thing that recruiters tell you is that you can just talk to the students. That is true to some degree. <laughs> But going along with the first point, it is an actual job and you generally do have to make lesson plans and actually teach the students. Um, if you're teaching children, parents are paying money for their kids to take your classes. So there will be some expectations. If you're teaching at a university, um, students are paying tuition and you have to do grades, exams, that kind of thing. So it is a real job and it is more than just chatting with your students. You do have to make lesson plans. Uh, the third thing that recruiters don't tell you is that it can be quite boring. <laughs> Talking about the weather, hobbies, sports, movies, food, etc. over and over and over again. Um, it's a little bit mind numbing <laughs> if you do it for enough time. And especially if you teach the same unit, say like eight times over like a week. You can do things to make it more interesting um, for you, like plan creative lessons, do different games, activities, that kind of thing. Um, but you sometimes just have to fight through the boredom and um, yeah, just kind of deal with it. It's not super fascinating and exciting um, if you do it for a long enough time. All right, the fourth thing that recruiters don't tell you is that it's close to a minimum wage job in many countries. So if you add up the number of hours that you work and your monthly salary, the pay is not that high in most cases, with possibly the exception of, say, the Middle East. Um, in other countries, you'll be making kind of what um, maybe like a very entry level university graduate would make or someone kind of working in retail, something like that. You're not actually making that much more, more money than them. So you will have to be pretty frugal if you do want to save money uh, for your future pursuits. And the fifth thing that recruiters don't tell you is that it's kind of a dead end job if you do it in another country. So there's often very little uh, room for advancement for foreign teachers. Um, it's different if you're like, say, a Canadian teaching in Canada and you have all the qualifications. You can certainly get into management positions or leadership positions wherever you are. But in another country, that's often very difficult because those positions are reserved for the um, citizens of that country. Um, the way to kind of combat this, if you want to make a career out of it, is to get some serious qualifications. So something like a CELTA, DELTA, an MATSL. Um, and that will kind of open the door to bigger and better positions for you. So if you want to do it for your career, definitely get the quali paper qualifications to go along with your experience. All right, so those are the five things recruiters don't tell you. If you like this video, please hit like, subscribe, tell your friends. All right, catch you next time. Bye, everybody.